Hello, tonight what we're doing is we're looking at these red things. What are these? Look at them. They're kind of orange. They have a little place here where they hung from the stem. Some of them are quite black over here. Some of them are so tender that just barely touching them you can see the skin move. These happen to be called persimmons and they are just wonderfully and tasty. Now Nancy gave us all of these off of her, her persimmon tree and they're all going they're all practically ripe at once and what we're going to do today is we're going to basically going to cut off the bits here. I'm going to do a lot like if you watch my Conquite video. We're going to put them inside as blender and we're going to liquefy them and freeze them. And this way we'll be able to save them for other things that we may want to do. But I'm telling you, this is a wonderful fruit to be able to place it in your cereal. It can make, it's like a jam just waiting right here. It's sweet enough, you don't have to add sugar to it. It's fabulous. Now this one here is hard, so we won't be sending this one through, but we will put it out there so it can ripen. But you want to have all, this one here is not quite ready. It's soft on one side, so we're going to let it ripen some more. But the ones that are ripe, like this one over here, this is not bad. We'll just slightly cut this off a little bit because it probably fell as we were grabbing it from the ground and we're just going to mince it up and have it for another day. So come and watch and see how I managed to save these persimmons for another day. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! For your people who follow me, on your left is TJ. Hi TJ! Okay, this is the Ninja Professional 1100 Watt blender. What's so good about it is it has these blades that rotate and they just cut off anything in sight. Of course, it would go inside the carafe. I'm going to put it back in. The carafe has a locking system, like right now it's locked. So it's a really good safe system to work. See, I have the power button on here and the blades won't turn until this is securely. There's some kind of sensor right here on the handle and this won't blade and chop off your fingers. So it's, it's got some safety protocols built into it. Now the next thing we gotta do is you have to make sure that the, the machine is level. Now what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how we prepare the persimmons. So take yourself a, a chopping mat, like this is a cutting mat. It's better if it's plastic. This is gonna make a huge mess. But before we do that, we're gonna wash them. All right, so now we have to grab. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna do this. You're not gonna use a brush because the skin is very, very tender. I thought it might be fun if you get to see my other persimmons that I also got from Nancy. And these are not ripe, but I thought I'd check them really quick before I chop them all up. Like this one's getting close, so we'll put that one to the side. Now, TJ doesn't really look, think about this as food. He thought once one time to play with it, it didn't exactly roll to his liking and it split on him. Okay, so there's nothing in, oh, here's one. Here's one that's ready to go. Now on some fruits, you can't eat the skin. That is not the, the same thing with a persimmon. And what I'm trying to do is cut it as close to the edge as possible. Now, sometimes a persimmon will have a seed in it. It doesn't occur in all of them. As you can see, as I'm splitting this one, there's no seeds. So what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna drop them all in into the blender. Most of the time I eat these whole. So I've eaten seed and it's not caused me any this harm. Let's see, I'm just gonna double check. I've had some persimmons that have like 10 or 12 of these seeds. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm just gonna drop it in. You can see as I drop it in. Now you saw me wash them. You don't have to worry about the skin. The skin is good. And this is so full of vitamin C. Now see this part here? You gotta peel that away. You don't want this part. This is not good. And around here, there's usually gonna be some kind of mold. It's just normal. You just cut it off. What you can do is the parts that are closest like that, you can simply throw that away. It's not enough to, to take a chance of introducing mold into your uh, carafe. All right, so here, here's another example. Okay, so now we're doing the next one. We're feeling this one. This one is not as ripe as it should be. You want it to be very, very, very ripe. But this one, you see how I'm pressing my fingers and you can depress yourself, the th your thumb into the fruit. That one's ready.
Okay, so this is very full carafe, and in some blenders, you could actually have a problem. But I happen to know this one, I've done this before in other types where I've blended it. So watch what happens now. So see this triangle here? That has to go with the triangle that's on the handle. It doesn't go that way, it's not gonna start. It can only go one way. Once that's secure, take a look at the power controls. We're gonna do a pulse. We're gonna put that, your hand on here. All right, so we're just gonna take a look at it where I pulse it. Actually, it's blended right now. All right, you're going to have a mess over here. Some of it is gonna be edible. I can use this, and the one that was too ripe, I can use that one on my morning cereal. The rest is gonna basically be going in the trash. So that has to be cleaned before the next step, which is putting in the freezer bags. In the morning, morning this is gonna land on my cereal. So what I'm doing is I got myself a little plastic container and I'm going to cut apart this one here at a damage. What happens is sometimes when they fall off the tree, they get damage on the floor or I use Nancy's um, fruit remover. It has these large, large sharp spines on it and sometimes it cuts the fruit. Okay, this is the one that's overripe. Just because it's overripe doesn't mean it's not good. It's just very, very, very ripe. And on these guys here, I'm just gonna be cutting the edges off. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna stick this in the fridge and the next, over the next couple days, I'll be able to put this on my cereal and I'll be getting my vitamin C. All right, it is the middle of January and there are still persimmons, as you can see right here, on our tree. And we've been incredibly lucky, the area where Nancy lives, we've been able to carry these on. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to write down persimmons. But I'm going to know what they are because I don't have anything orange in the, in the freezer. And I'm going to put it on the date is, is going to be 1-2019. And then believe me, they won't last that long. What I mean is I'm going to use a bowl and I'm going to put the bag in the bowl. And I'm going to use, see, if you take a look at the carafe, I have to unlock it first to get rid, open it. And then the bowl is here. <laughs> That's another thing. You have to remove this part here. Now, there's nothing wrong with that part. So, take a spatula. I got this one for a dollar at a 99 cent store. And scrape that off, because that's all good stuff in here. Or put in a bowl and don't lick it. Those blades are sharp. They will cut your tongue. Don't even, it's not worth you bleeding all over your food. And when you do this, then put this in the sink and then after that, put in your dishwasher. Okay. Now, pour this in. And seeing how much do you want in the bag? So you see, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting in about halfway. And then I'm going to seal the top just a little bit. And I'm going to try to get the rest of the air out of the bag. You can almost hear it escape. And then I'm going to seal it. See, that's how you know it's safe. I never do that because you just never know if these things are sealed. But this one is. And this one can go right in the freezer. Now we're gonna do the next bag. No, that looks about right. And you just, okay, and then when you get to a close, you seal it, and you know it's sealed by flipping it upside down, and then pour the rest in here. I think there's more, yeah, there's more in this bag than there is in the other one. Same thing, once you pour it out, and when you get all that liquid in. Now the rest in here, if you have the time, take a spatula like this and eat it. Good vitamin C, delicious, 
or scrape it out and put it on a piece of bread, vegan bread of course, or scoop it over some cereal. All right, so you saw what I did. I got, I cut all those persimmons up. Now, you cannot just take this bag and leave it on your countertop. It has no preservatives. It will mold and make you sick. You have to keep this either in a refrigerator for maybe three, four days maximum. After that's no good to use. That's why I stick it in a freezer. You can keep it in a freezer for six months if you wanted to. Not that I will ever last that long in my house. And this is the persimmon, all three bags, freezing up in the freezer. Hope to see you again in our future videos. We'll see you soon. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.